I'm Bulls TV. We're joined by the Bulls' number one pick, Marcus Teague, out of Kentucky, the starting freshman point guard, led Kentucky to the NCAA championship. Marcus, number one, welcome to Chicago. Welcome to Bulls TV. We're going to get you on a lot during the course of the season. But uh, let's talk a little about your arrival into Chicago. Did you work out for this ball club? Um, no, I didn't get the chance to work out for them. Um, actually, this is my first you know, time actually getting to come to the facility. Really? So let's, let's go back, let's say, 72 hours. What were you doing draft night? Um, I was sitting at home in my room by myself just waiting to hear my name. All right, so was that in Indianapolis or were you on campus at Kentucky? I was at home in Indianapolis with my family. All right, so you're watching television. Take us through that process of going, let's say, after the first 13, 14 picks. Um, after that, it was around my range. Um, so I was just waiting to hear what teams called me. A few teams that I thought were going to pick me, you know, didn't. Uh, when the 29th pick came, the Bulls called me. You know, I was just excited and I was happy with my family. Now, pick by pick leading to the 29th, what was it like in the Teague household? A uh, lot, of, lot of nerves. Everybody was pretty nervous, um, just wondering what was going to go on, just wanted to see what was going to happen. All right, so you get the call and the Bulls say, we're going to take you. And describe that feeling you had. That was the best feeling in the world. You know, I was so exci excited. You know, my dreams came true. And I got to play for a great, I get to play for a great team. So yeah. I was just happy. And, and, of course, I remember seeing your brother work out here. And then, of course, he went to the Atlanta Hawks. But you get picked by the Bulls. How much do you know, other than, of course, Derrick Rose, how much do you know about this team? Um, I know this is a great team. You know, they're a championship contained team every every season. You know, they got Joe Kim Noah, Carlos Boozer, um, Gibson. They got some great players on this team. Um, I just feel like I can come in and just, you know, help help the team win. Did you follow them much over the last couple of years? Oh, yeah. You know, um, who doesn't want to watch Derrick Rose? You know, I've been watching the Bulls for a while now. Um, it's one of the best teams in the NBA. And, and have you spoken to Derek at all? Um, no, I haven't got a chance to speak to him yet. Um, but when I do, you know, we'll sit down, we'll talk. Okay, now, I've seen you play. A lot of people obviously have seen you play. But talk about your game. What will you bring the Chicago Bulls? Um, just, you know, a lot of energy, someone who could defend, um, push the ball on offense, and just create plays for myself and for my teammates. All right, let's talk about creating plays because one of the great attributes you have as a player, Marcus, is you can get to the rim. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I, I like to get to the rim. That creates um, lanes for my shooters, you know, open my shooters up or I get easy layups or I can find my big man. So, you know, I like to attack the rim as much as possible. All right. Some of the things you need to work on. Um, still continue to work on my outside shot and just trying to get a lot stronger. You know, the Bulls have led the NBA in attendance year after year after year. They average 22,000 a game. And I know at Kentucky, it's a major, major program. You have played in big games of the SEC, of course, during the NCAA tournament run, winning a championship. Do you thrive on that type of pressure and, and seeing all the fans and all the hype and whatnot? Oh, uh, yeah, I like playing in front of big crowds. You know, that excites me, um, gets you going, you know. Hear your friends cheering you on, it just gets you going. Marcus, let's talk uh, about off the court. What do you enjoy doing? Um, I just like I kind of like watching movies, playing video games, you know, hanging out around the house with my friends, just just relaxing. All right, now you're going to be in a video game now that you're an NBA <laughs> player. What what do you play as far as vids? Uh, I play 2K. I, um, I like to play with the Miami Heat a lot. They're the easiest team to play with on the game. <laughs> <laughs> now you don't say the Miami Heat around here, okay? I mean, they're the enemy now. Yeah, they're the enemy now, but. I'm going to be playing with the Bulls a lot, I guess, now. Okay. Well, I know your brother Jeff, of course, who played well against the Bulls two years ago, as you know, in the playoffs. But uh, let, let's talk about growing up as a kid in Indianapolis. Did you attend many Pacer games? When's, when's the first time you went to an NBA game? Um, I didn't really go to many Pacer games growing up. Um, I started going to NBA games prior when I got in high school. I went to a few. Um, but before that, I didn't really go to many. Well, I know that you were recruited, heavily recruited by a lot of schools, picked Kentucky over Louisville. But, I mean, were you an NBA fan growing up? Oh, yeah, I always liked the NBA. You know, I always was watching NBA, trying to find, you know, the best point guard so I could learn from them, watching their games. Okay, and, and finally now, as Coach Tibbs mentioned, you got to work in the gym, you're going to the summer league. It's going to be a blur for you. Oh, yeah, but, um, you know, it's nothing I can't handle. I'm ready. That's something I've been doing my whole life, so I'm just ready to get it started. All right, well, congratulations on behalf of all of us with Bulls TV, Bulls.com, and the organization. Glad to have you here. Uh, thank you. Glad to be here. All right, that's Marcus Teague, the number one pick by the Chicago Bulls. This is Chuck Swirsky right here on Bulls TV.